telling stories help people to give them life, to give them hope. Having our culture be outlawed and something that was against the law to participate in, I find great relief engaging in many aspects of my culture as I can. The Arctic is basically like the world's air conditioner and it's not working right now. When the COD moratorium happened, I was in my mom's belly and all of a sudden their livelihood was gone. We left our families, our home. When the war started, we waited five years until Canada accepted us. There's a rumble, there's a change happening, especially the younger generation. We could really bring back what's almost on the brink of being lost. So our language, we are slowly regaining it. Active human rights complaints. The government was denying me my top surge again under the previous government. I took two years fighting. Malgré tout le reste des violences institutionnelles qu'on peut pas nier, il y a des gens dans la société qui travaillent à améliorer les choses. We come from like DIY grassroots community organizing perspectives. And this idea that if it's something that's important to you and it's something that you want to do, you can develop or find the means to do that yourself. I was in a really good position to advocate for myself and try to make change for the benefit of, of anybody who comes along. Today, youth are a lot more open, they're a lot more driven. I want to give back, yes. And this is the perfect place for me to give back. We need to fundamentally transform the identity of this country and each individual Canadian citizen indigenous and non-indigenous alike. We need to transform. C'est de célébrer les personnes qui ont travaillé à faire changer les chances. I'm definitely more of an optimist and I do believe that there's hope for change. <laughs>